How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just I... keep your eyes open. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Uh -huh. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, 
wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. If we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Wait. the problem. It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lindo those boots you got there, eh? Hmm. Oh, they're very nice. Here's Charles. Oh, 
good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take the... Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Here, Relax. Hey, there you are. Yeah. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go. Well, no I'm back home now. Oh, so everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Did you get a bump on the head? Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. And Just a little one. Great. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. Mr. McGuire is back. So I love on. you, bastards. Have, <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> Here, up, Strauss. It's a party. What do you mean? I'm in an excellent <clears throat> mood. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. I can never tell. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. I can't get rid of you, can I? Hey. Mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. 
You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. No, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old... So, what now? Come on! How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him have some fun. He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally, some good news, eh? Uh, indeed. Oh, that's fear in the works. Well, you usually do, my love. Go get yourself a drink. You deserve one. How many times have we heard this song? It's a good one. Fellas would spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left the Oh, Can we put some music on? I will, in a bit. I'm going to go out and I'm going to find me a wife. I'm going to do this all day. I put my hand upon her and my heart down what I need to say. She says you're getting pretty out of my diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my hand upon her and my heart down what I need to say. She says let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all day. <laughs> Very nice. But how about something a little more civil? That's a good excuse to celebrate. Miss O'Shea. Dance with me. I didn't think we were going to see you again. Look at me, with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Stop it, you! with me, Arthur? Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> a 
Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Yeah. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. Look at me. Tense, isn't it? <laughs> Hasn't seen any action like this since nine months before young Jackie popped out. <laughs> hey, move over, will you? What are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to get these Ew. off. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 there they are. <laughs> Look at them. Magnificent, like the peaks of the Derry Bay. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. Yeah, come here, mm. you. Mm. Oh. Mm. Hey, what are you doing? It was an old trick me dad taught me. Uh, no, don't ever do that again. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, well, well, here we go, Miss Jones. Meet McGuire Jr. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, you wait. <laughs> He's a fighter. Oh, okay. No. No, no, that's not... There, no. Oh, glide uh, me in here a bit, will you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you're a lovely woman. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's Stop it. Oh. pulling that face. Oh, yes. Oh, oh Miss Jones. Will you oh. shut up? Oh. 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 Are you close? Nowhere near. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 there she blows, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 phew, oh, oh, it's like all me worries have floated away, oh. Will you two keep it down in there? Shut it, Morgan. Hey, hey, where are you going? <sighs> We're done, ain't we? Uh, well, <laughs> You certainly are, darling. Oh. What are you doing there, you old creep? 
You having fun? Always. You know me. Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They always are when you ain't buying. Well, we got him. You did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with him. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know. You already told me that. Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Good, Charles. Yeah. I'm already wishing that Sean came from that tree. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. This is going to be fun. Down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the... Sure. Come on, follow me.
first. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. There we go. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Fish on the line. This one's a bluegill. <laughs> Not bad. You got a stick of things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. Good for you? I guess. Hmm. Well, let's try again. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, think I got one. I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. 
We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us. Protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Help. This necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. 
Them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Reverend. Have a fine time, sir. 